Let's cover all the ways to add audio to Anki flashcards using HyperTTS. Let's start with batch addition. We'll use this when we want to add audio to a large number of notes, for example after importing from file, or to add audio to a whole deck. First, let's go to the Anki browser and select a few notes. Then, click the HyperTTS menu and click Add Audio Collection. We are now in the preset screen. In here, we can preview audio and apply audio to a number of notes. We can also save the preset to reuse it later. After you've saved the preset, it will be available directly in the HyperTTS menu so that you can access it quickly for a batch of notes. This will bring up a smaller version of the Add Audio screen. You can preview audio for any note, apply audio to all notes, and if you need to modify the preset, such as choosing a different voice, you can click Show Settings. Now, let's talk about Editor Edition. We can generate audio inside the Anki Editor when modifying a note or when adding a new one. We will make use of the three HyperTTS buttons in the Anki Editor. The Speaker button is used for generating audio and applying it to the note. The play button is used to hearing a preview of the audio before applying it. And the gear button is used to configure the presets used with this deck and note type. The apply action and preview actions can be called with a configurable keyboard shortcut. After clicking the gear button, we can configure the presets we will use for this note. In the upper left, we see that these preset rules apply to a particular note type and deck. Initially, we have no presets. Let's click add rule. We can now choose to add an existing preset or a new one. We've now added two preset rules. We can preview or apply individual presets. We can edit presets if required. We can configure whether a preset applies to this note type or only to this deck and note type combination. This can be useful if you have many decks or subdecks which share the same configuration. If a preset is enabled, it will be included when doing a preview or applying audio. If you leave it disabled, you always have the option to run manually if required. Once everything is configured correctly, click Save and Close. Now that preset rules are configured, you can generate audio using a single click on the speaker button. If you've configured a keyboard shortcut, you can also use it now. The preset rules are also available when you are adding new notes one by one. You can press the speaker button to generate audio, or use the keyboard shortcut. This is the end of the video. We've covered all the ways to add audio to an Anki flashcard deck using HyperTTS. If you have any questions, get in touch.